You're watching InfoSec Bytes, a crash course in information security for journalists. We're based at the Centre for Investigative Journalism in London and supported by the Logan Foundation. This is a tutorial on how to fully encrypt your Mac's system disk using a built-in app called FileVault. This video is provided for information only. It cannot replace the advice of a trained security professional. If lives or safety depend on your security, please seek the advice of an expert. The Centre for Investigative Journalism is a pioneer in providing expert information security training services to journalists and journalistic institutions. To consult with an expert through the CIJ, or to arrange a CIJ training session, contact the address on screen. The techniques demonstrated in this video will encrypt your data, making it unreadable and unrecoverable without your passphrase. If you're careless or forget your passphrase, you will be unable to decrypt your data. Your data could be lost forever. So don't use these techniques if you're unsure what you're doing. If you do choose to use them, you do so at your own risk. If you haven't already, we recommend you watch our overview video, Protecting Your Data, before you watch this tutorial, to understand everything that's going on. You can tap on the pop-up message now to access it. Mac OS has a built-in full disk encryption application called FileVault, which encrypts your system drive so that even if someone gets hold of it, they can't get your data without your passphrase. There really is no reason not to fully encrypt your system drive, and it's a great precaution you can take to make your data more secure. In this video, we're going to show you how to do it. When we're finished, whenever you boot your Mac, you will be asked for a passphrase. Without it, it is impossible to access the data contained on your Mac's system disk. We start from the desktop. First, Open the System Preferences window. Find the Security and Privacy icon and click on it. In the Security and Privacy window, click on the File Vault tab. Then, find the Padlock icon in the bottom left corner and click on it to unlock the settings and allow changes to be made. You will be prompted for your Mac's user password, so type it in and then click Unlock. Once you've done so, the File Vault settings will now be unlocked and the Turn On File Vault button should no longer be greyed out. Click on it. You will be shown a Recovery Key window, which can be used to recover the data on your disk if you forget your encryption password. You may want to write this down and keep it in a safe place. Or, if you're worried that you cannot hide it anywhere that it won't be found, perhaps you don't want to write down your Recovery Key, but remember that if you don't, your data will be unrecoverable if you forget your passphrase. Now click Continue. FileVault will then offer you an option to back up your recovery key to Apple's cloud servers. Normally, if you encrypt something and then forget the key, you have lost the data forever. Backing up your recovery key to Apple's cloud servers means that if you forget your key, you will still be able to recover your data. But it also means that you'd be trusting Apple with your encryption keys. And not just Apple. If your Apple account was hacked and someone was to gain access to it, they could then decrypt your drive without your permission. So this is a trade-off between trusting Apple and risking losing access to your data. As a general rule, if you care about security and you are working on a sensitive journalistic project, it isn't a good idea to trust third parties with your personal encryption keys. And Apple is a third party. In this tutorial, we will click do not store the recovery key with Apple and then press continue. FileVault will now warn you that it is about to turn off and restart the Mac in order to begin the encryption of your system disk. Click restart. The computer will now reboot, so wait while it does so and then it will prompt you for your login password again. Enter it and then press enter. Your desktop will appear and presently a file vault window will pop up, telling you that the encryption of your system drive is underway. This can now take quite a long time, as file vault must process your entire drive, bit by bit. A progress bar will slowly fill up, indicating the progress file vault has made. You just have to wait, or you can minimize this window and go about your business while it encrypts in the background. Once it's finished, the File Vault window will display the encryption finished message. You can now close this window and use your Mac as normal. 
Your system drive has now been fully encrypted, and the only way to access it is with your login password. And that's all there is to it. Mac OS also allows you to fully encrypt removable disks, or to create encrypted disk images that you can hide files inside. We deal with these tasks in a separate tutorial. We also have videos showing you how to erase data on a Mac. To watch these videos, click or tap on the pop-up message and select the video you want from the menu. Thanks for watching InfoSec Bytes. If you found this video useful, please share it widely with your colleagues and coworkers. To support the Center for Investigative Journalism with a donation, please visit tcij.org forward slash donate. And if you would like to watch our other videos, please go to infosecbytes.org or subscribe to our channel below.